It's not a disaster movie. This is what goes on in my gas boiler, hour after hour, seven days a week during winter. Or maybe it is a disaster movie. Burning gas in domestic boilers is a major cause of the increase in CO2 levels in the atmosphere. The effect on the climate is already widely observable and will become catastrophic and irreversible if not checked. I feel guilty every time I hear this boiler switch on. Something must be done. But what? A ground source heat pump looked the best at first sight. But the garden isn't large enough for a network of heat collecting pipes laid out horizontally or accessible enough for the equipment needed for drilling a borehole downwards. But it must be a heat pump. The efficiency of gas boilers can never reach 100% even with the best condensing boiler technology. My boiler is more like 72%. With an air source heat pump, the energy comes from the outside air and can be three or four times the energy in. But I do have some concerns about what a heat pump can achieve for me, as this installation will be a retrofit in an existing property. It was built in 1971. It has a solid concrete ground floor with no insulation. Is it suitable for a heat pump? Well, let's find out. The installation team is here. Morning. Morning. Sorry, I'm technical driver. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. I'm Theo. Hi, Theo. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Come on through. I'm going to hang out the heating on because I thought you probably wanted cold if you're taking it all apart. Yes. 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 Well, I've got one, yeah. Yeah. Heat pumps produce a lower flow temperature than gas boilers, so six of the nine radiators were replaced to increase their heat output. I'll have to cover this a bit. Oh, why is that? It's going to have to yeah. go a bit farther right. further this way. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to be sticking out too far. Yes. Just got to go there, really. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Does the cupboard door still open? Not very well. Back back to, that, to yes. Back from the back of the wall. Yes. So are you okay with The roof is shallow pitched, making it very difficult to get to the eaves. So the pipe work from the heat pump to the new hot water cylinder was laid across the first floor in some cupboards and will be covered over with false floors. Well, the installation seems to be nearing completion. Let's take a tour and see how energy is transferred from the heat pump to the radiators and hot water cylinder. At the time that has been programmed in the app, 4 a.m. This valve diverts the energy from heating the radiators to heat the hot water cylinder, hence the peak in usage at this time. So how well will the heat pump work? I use these logging thermometers which were configured to record the temperature each minute to measure the rate of heating achieved by the gas boiler and then after its installation by the heat pump. The heat pump was first started at around 4pm on the fourth day of the install, 
so that it could run overnight and be checked the following morning. The temperature traces are from inside the house and from outside where the temperature fell to minus 5 degrees C when these frosty conditions were filmed. These overlaid traces are from when the gas boiler was providing the heating during the previous week, showing that the heat pump was able to warm up the house just as quickly. Alright Paul, we are now at the end of the installation and I'd like to proceed with the handover process for you. Right. The heat pump outside and a temperature above it, which reads 3 right now, and right. that's showing us the external temperature. Right. And all of this is mirrored in the app. Certainly, yep. It's yep. all in your app so you can see it nice and it's probably a little bit more user friendly in the app as well, but you've got it in both places. Another setting in here I like to show customers because it gives them an understanding of energy usage. It's information and all it does is in that window it gives you information. You can't make any changes, you can just right. tell. Like the COP for instance? Yeah, we can calculate the COP from there. So if we go to the information, highlight it. Once again, use the left wheel and click. Energy date is right at the top. We can click that in and we see our electricity input. So we can see since installation we've used 52 kilowatt hours. And if we go to produced heat, we've produced 148 kilowatt hours of heat. But today being a very cold day, we're, yes. uh, it's January. Even at about 11 o'clock, outside it was still minus 5.3. Well, yeah, there we go. 2.84 was the cop for today. And that's sort of like your worst case because it's freezing today. I mean, everything outside's frozen. Right. Um, and we're starting with a very cold house. And we are exactly that's you yes. you're, you're you're spot on. Going forward, it shouldn't need to. You shouldn't need so much heat to warm the house. We'll just want to top it up from now on. Indeed, after four weeks had elapsed since the install, the difference in the figures reported, so as to exclude the initial switch on period, showed that the heat pump had achieved a cop of well over four. To compare this with the gas boiler. I looked up the gas consumption for the periods before and after the heat pump install. A small amount was used after the install for cooking, but it is only a quarter of what the pilot light of the gas boiler used. As a result of the COP achieved, the heat pump used less than one-fifth of the energy, a saving of 82%. Even though electricity is more expensive than gas, the heat pump still saved over 29% in money terms. I did try using the smart meter data for the electricity and the gas. It appeared that the heat pump was using an extra 6 kilowatt hours of electricity per day to replace 41 kilowatt hours of gas consumption, an even better result for the heat pump. However, I realized that this method did not account for the electricity produced by the solar power, making it look as if less electricity was being used than was actually the case. I don't have an export meter for the solar power, so I can't tell how much of an issue this is. To give you a complete picture, I need to tell you how I use the system and how warm the house has been. I set up a schedule in the app for the temperature to be 18 degrees C between 3 p.m. and midnight and a setback temperature of 16 degrees C at all other times. I find that 18 degrees C is quite warm enough and as for the setback temperature, when I had the gas boiler, I never switched it on during that time. It's quite a change in lifestyle to have the heating on all the time. But I have picked up from other videos that heat pumps are more efficient if used in that way, with the setback temperature no more than 2 or 3 degrees below the main temperature. A COP4 is a world-changing statistic. Whenever people have striven to improve some performance parameter and an invention comes along which improves it by a factor of four, then that invention has taken over. These illustrations may help to put a COP4 in context. As one of the first iron ships, the Great Eastern revolutionized shipping. Today, it would be unthinkable to use wood for commercial cargo ships. But the ever given pictured here, one of the largest container ships, is still only three times the length of the Wyoming, 
the largest wooden ship. It used to be thought that aeroplanes needed a propeller, but after a jet aircraft first flew in 1941, within three decades you would be unlikely to see a propeller at Heathrow. Yet the speed of the fastest jet is less than four times the speed of the fastest prop. Gas can be converted to electricity at a power station with 50% efficiency. With a cop of four, this creates a virtual boiler with 200% efficiency. Back in 2011, when I was having solar power installed, I asked the installers about heat pumps. They didn't do them at the time, and I was finding it difficult to find answers to questions such as how well do they work, and is a ground source heat pump better or even possible. My objective in making this video was to make the video I would have liked to have watched then when I was looking into the subject and trying to decide how best to achieve heat without the guilt.